Hi guys, my name is Jose GBK and today I'll be teaching you guys how to solve your deflection check problem in Prota structure. Maybe we you you've used your slab strip on the building and on the structure and then it's telling you that the section is insufficient and it's telling you that your deflection check has not been met. So how do you go about this problem? That is what we'll be dealing with today. My name remains Chedoze Chibike -E and I would love for you to like, share and comment on my channel and also to as a means of encouraging me I would love for you to subscribe to my channel as this will help me to provide more exciting videos that we can gain more knowledge from. Thank you. So let's go to the business of the day. Now this is a slab that has been done. We've analyzed this structure already. Now we go to modeling we click on slab strip now this is for the x horizontal direction and we click on update we actually click on this surface oh let's go back again slab strip update it and we click and we drag holding our control key to give us a straight line i'll click again now you can see that our slab has been created, our slab strip has been created on the horizontal direction. So we go to the vertical direction, uh, we click on update and then we click here, drag hold the control key to get a straight line and then we click again. Now you can see a warning has come up telling us that our section is insufficient and our deflection check doesn't meet the criteria which is LD L divided by D which is length divided by depth is actually bigger than the required limit so we click on OK so we delete this slab strip and we delete this other one now when such problem comes up, I think you have to pay attention to something. You look at the depth of your slab. You can see the depth of our slab in this case is 50 millimeter and it is very, very small. So we would love to increase it. So we go to property of the slab. Now we'll change this property to 100. 100 millimeter and we update it you see a message pops up the following analysis result will be invalidated if you proceed do you want to continue yes it means that the analysis we've done on this building will be invalid we have to do a new analysis on this building you can see the depth of the slab has increased to 100 so now if you don't know how to analyze your building i have posted videos on how a full structure can be model analyzed and designed using proton structure you can check up that video and learn more about how to analyze a structure so i go on analysis building analysis and i go to this click on building analysis click on column walls and then I click on building analysis to take some time for our analysis to come in place so be patient like I said portal structure is a very wonderful application because it teaches you how to model not just design alone it models the structure so that you can see why also analyzing the structure and designing it giving you every necessary you need it even provides your bar bending schedule for you i've posted videos on that previously so you can also check them out and it's a wonderful application i think the analysis has started so we should go on so you can see it's we've analyzed completely and our building satisfies the various limits so we click on ok and we close so we delete this we don't need this now you can see our that is 100 so let's go back to our slab strip again click on slab slip, uh, strip it's in the x direction right now and then we click 
of this you click here so we model slab strip of this click hold your control key and drag to get a straight line and click again we've gotten that in the horizontal direction then in the vertical direction we also update we click hold the control key to get a straight line and we click again you can still see that it's still the section is still insufficient and the deflection check is not satisfied so click on ok again we still go back to delete this strip that was created we delete this again now our debt is 100 maybe we should increase it a bit to see if we can actually adequately cover for this deflection check that we are looking at so we touch our slab and go to the property and we increase it to 150 and we update to show you the same results validating our building design since we want to change the property of this slab and we click on yes and then we go back to analyzing our structure again so this will take us some time so you have to bear have patience will be done quite soon to click on building analysis why we wait for the building to analyze we can see that portal structure is actually a very easy application that we can use to analyze several stories of buildings so it is user friendly that is what i love about portal structure and easy to use most of the function has been easily done for you you don't really have to stress yourself there's various tab on it so doesn't give us issue when analyzing so that is what I love about Prota structure now we are done with the analysis you can see it satisfies the various limits so we close and we close over here I don't want this section to show the analytical mode so I close it now we've increased to 150 and we've analyzed it so we go back again to our slab strip we click on slab strip you can see it's on the x direction which is the horizontal then we click here we click hold our control key for straight line click again now on the y direction which is the vertical direction we update to click here hold our control key drag click again you can see it has satisfied the limit so we don't have any warning signs so it shows you that when you are having a deflection check issue you have to actually increase the depth of your slab to adequately provide for your deflection in your building so that is what I wanted you guys to learn today I hope it was quite easy to learn and I want to say a very big thank you for staying tuned to my channel and I hope to see you guys again don't forget to like share comment and also subscribe to my channel God bless you see you again